Hello, welcome back to Travel with Sana. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a video on our weekend away camping in West Virginia and hopefully you'll enjoy this video. It started from getting gas which was 119 and insane amount but we have a long way to go so that's acceptable. We also started off with rain and we thought it was going to be a little bit of rain and then it started to pour and a little bit more and then it started to go crazy on us so I had to take a nap and uh, be done with recording. And after a while when i woke up the weather looked really pretty it was really really nice uh outside i had to try show you a little bit of driving this is driving from pennsylvania to west virginia and the ride was absolutely stunning lots of greenery lots of beautiful views to see and as you'll further see it has been really amazing Then we had to make a quick stop and this looked like a little creepy stop that you see in the 80s, 90s movies. We had to get gas so we got that real quick and got back on the drive. It was as usual really beautiful so it was enjoyable for the rest of the time as we saw all the beautiful views. Of course couldn't get rid of our friend rain but it, it wasn't bad it was on and off and as you can see there was beautiful views in between so that's how our drive went. Alright so here is us entering our West Virginia almost destination and it was like heaven on earth all the clouds and it was beautiful. I uh, just can't describe and I don't think the camera captured the beauty as nicely as it was. Starting to get dark we had to get dinner we were not gonna wait go to the camp and make dinner we just had to go to the camp set up. Um, it was very muddy and muggy and raining so we decided to grab some pizza on the way tons of pizza. <laughs> for us sadly it was raining again but we were there the night before and we were able to set up so that was good so we were nice and dry in our tents just now this camping site has a lot of different activities to do there are some that i'll be showing some i did not record because uh, my cell phone was either not charged or put away uh, but there's a lot of different activities i'm gonna list all of them here and you may see some of them that i recorded uh, So first stop at the camp after the registration and all of that good stuff was mountain biking. Uh, you'd go, you'd pick the bike and uh, they were trainers. They'd help you train for a little bit, show you around. Uh, and then if you felt comfortable, you could take your bike and I forget how many hours it is, but Then we did an activity of tie dye. I enjoy tie dye a lot. I think this is our favorite for favorite camp activities, and almost at least at every camp we try and get one done. Um, so this is us just getting oh. stuff done. Oh. <laughs> Janet's going all out with her design. <laughs> so like I'm making this, so it should be nice. I guess Janine could have the other one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Janine or Sinead. Over to the side or in the middle? Yeah, and I wish I was here for my sure. I know, I just tried to be nice by starting it. Hey, where did the photographer go? I thought you guys are going to oh. be really late. Yes, ma'am. You ring them out real good. 
And then wherever your rubber bands are for the sleeves, just like keep. Yep. Slide that one out. Wait, there's one. So once you put on all the colors on the shirts you do your t uh, your dyes on the shirts you'll have to put them for 24 hours before you wash them out so we had to do that we had to put them away for 24 hours before we could rinse them out and uh, dry them so that's what we do. go get ready on the dinner with something very simple which is tacos it's my favorite in my opinion it's um, a very delicious and easy good to meal uh, it involves a lot of chopping and I am a fan of chopping things You see, besides getting the chicken ready, all I had to do was, uh, on the stove, all I had to do was chop up everything, which was lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, uh, some cheese from the bag. Uh, you could do sour cream, chipotle sauce, uh, salsa for all the little toppings, and check your protein or beans if you're vegetarian. After our dinner, we had some s'mores camp stories and here's me trying to show off my flashlight of how bright it is and, uh, and yeah. Good night everybody, I'll see you in the morning. The next morning we had a lot of different activities and I couldn't show all of them to you. Uh, so I'm starting off with this tree house that we visited but besides the tree house we had fishing and we had canoeing and we had a really amazing day but I couldn't record all of the activities so get, let's get into the tree house uh, for today at least. panel mm -hmm. on top here that generates enough electricity to operate this building year-round oh, and yes. the exit building next door mm -hmm. the first floor is about plant life and you're going to learn about plant life and sustainability second floor is about plant life and nesting one of the
I couldn't record the rest of his because we had to put our cell phones away but this was the area where we did rock climbing and we do bungee jumping uh both of those were really fun and a little bit scary uh, but they, they they have trainers there who help you out and make you they help you to be comfortable to be able to do that uh, so after a long tiring day we came back and had to do a dinner this time we we're doing spaghetti and meatballs and it's going to be another again very simple recipe by the way by the time our spaghetti and meatballs are on the string to get cooked we are have passed and we're ready to open up our shirt and this looks amazing uh this is my friend's shirt and the colors look amazing so i wish we could keep it as is but we do have to take out all of the excess color by washing it in water and that's what we're gonna we are going to do because as we head out tomorrow we are going to wear them on our way back home that's the plan um so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wash them out hang them to dry for tomorrow These look absolutely stunning but uh, while these dry and hopefully it hasn't rained for the past two days and we've been having an amazing time so we're just gonna go back to cooking the meatballs and the spaghetti yeah it's going to be really simple so spaghetti is boiling meatballs is going to have some spaghetti sauce we are going to add some now uh, you can just heat it up and use it as is uh, but we're going to make it a little bit extra by adding some onions garlic uh, some spices and the fried meatballs into it to make it a little bit more amazingly delicious. Of course, can't miss out on the bread to go with our spaghetti and meatballs, so that's what we're gonna do. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've seen how we do our weekend trip. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. I have lots of content, especially Disney. And I have a uh, tent and I have different restaurant reviews. So if you enjoy stuff like that or even camping, do subscribe to the channel. Give us your comments on what your favorite part was about this camping trip. <laughs> maybe the food, maybe the cities or the terrifying rain. Whatever it is, do let us know. Thank you for watching. s'mores and camp stories and tomorrow we are going to be heading out so thank you so much for joining us throughout on this trip we appreciate it. and of course as soon as we start we are stuck in traffic so i decided to get some little ice cream and pick up some soda from the store help me stay awake on the rest of our long drive to pennsylvania from west virginia uh, thank you for watching i'll see you later bye now